Hey guys and welcome back to the AC Milan career mode. We are continuing with the season and I read your comments on the last video and most of you do want me to switch it up to legendary and see how that works out. So I'm going to try that for the game against Genoa that we unfortunately did lose in real life. So if I lose on legendary it will be kind of realistic but I don't want to lose of course. After that we've got Napoli as well. We'll see how this episode goes on Legendary. You know, I've lost a few players as well due to injury. The young Balotelli. It's going to be a tough one. Um, and I, I really want to find out if I'm good enough on Legendary to beat the AI. Let's take a look at the team sheet for the game against Genoa. Even though Honda and Kuchka did very well in the last episode and performed well, I'm still going to put them on the bench because I have faith in the front three. Baka, Luis Adriano and Jeremy Menez. Montolivo coming into the side to replace the young. It's a solid looking team, but Genoa aren't any pushovers and on Legendary, it's going to be a real challenge. Lazovic down the wing, still going, Bertolacci trying to dispossess him, does not work, good save by Diego Lopez early on. Oh, Luis Adriano, burst of pace, it's going to cut back into Baca, Baca can find Bertolacci on his left foot, Bertolacci blocked. Aventura into Luis Adriano, hold up play well, into Abate, down the wings, where is Baca? We need Baca in there, no, we're going to go to Luis Adriano instead, and he should have gotten that on target at least. Baca into Luis Adriano, Adriano into Menez, here he goes, one on one, Jeremy Menez has to finish on his left foot, he does exactly that, and makes it 1-0 to the Rossoneri just before half time, not the best of first half you've ever seen, a pretty tense and close game, no team really on top. But we have taken the lead though, and that's a vital goal just before uh, the end of the first half. Jeremy Nez, well done. A few players look a bit tired to me, it's time to make changes at half-time. Bertolacci coming on for Andrea Poli. Honda's going to come on for Luis Adriano. I'm going to move Menez up to striker. Fitness is going to play a huge role in the second half because we need to battle it out for the three points. I don't think they'll let us off this easy. Great save by Lopez, caught me off guard a little bit. Free kick headed into the top bins, but Lopez, fantastic save, let's have another look at that. He has no right to get to that, fantastic effort. Montolivo into Honda, Honda into Baca. Baca holds on to it, plays in Honda again. Honda trying to do work here, trying to do magic. You can slip through Baca, Baca just a little bit over hit that pass. 10 minutes to go, final substitution, Bonaventura is going off for Kuchka, we need to hold on to this 1-0 win. It doesn't look like that we're going to score a second goal, so we just need to battle it out at the back. Abate, good pace from Abate down the wings, he might actually create something, keep going, nobody's stopping him. Abate looking for the cross, it's not the best, but Menez will not, no! How has that happened? Perrin had a misunderstanding with a centre-back. And that nearly was 2-0. How did that not end up in the back of the net? Menez takes the shot, gets deflected off the back of someone's leg. Unbelievable. Oh, great challenge. Slip through Baca. He's one-on-one. -on -one. Kill the game off for me, Carlos, please. Against Matia Perin. And he scores. He does not fail in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Carlos Baca, his first goal of the Serie A season, wraps up the game completely. 2-0 to AC Milan. And that's the end of the game. We have done better than AC Milan in real life. We won the fixture 2-0. Deservedly so, I'd say. We had the better of the chances. They probably could have scored, but Diego Lopez was a man mountain in goal. Doing his duties, doing what he needed to do. As you can see, they bossed possession. We had a little bit more shots, but I'd say we deserve this win. Alright guys, these are the training sessions and the results of this week. Bertolacci doing extremely well, getting an A. Everyone else was a little bit disappointing, but we can deal with that. Alright guys, this is the team for the game against Napoli. As you can see, it's looking very strong. A lot of players in top form. Abate, Zapata, Menez in brilliant form actually. Baca has grown to an 83 overall, which is looking good. Balotelli and De Jong are back, but I'm not going to risk it because they're still slightly injured. Still on Legendary, because that was a good experiment last time out. If we can beat Napoli on Legendary, I'll be completely convinced that we can that we can keep going on this difficulty but it's going to be a difficult one napoli of course currently the league leaders hi there everybody and a big warm welcome to you all to the san siro stadium and Here you can see the current league standings they aren't actually first anymore we've overtaken them in the league because they drew their last game which is fair enough they haven't lost yet so one of these two teams today 
I has to lose. I'm not settling for a draw. I don't think they will settle for a draw. First against second. Biggest game of the season so far. Gonzalo Higuain already bagging himself four goals. Equal on goals with Mario Balotelli, but he's not playing for us. So I think they have a stronger team out than we have. Good turn from Luis Adriano past his man. He's going to get away from him. Well played by Luis Adriano. Baca picks it up. Back into Adriano. He's going all the way. Adriano. Menez. 1-0 to AC Milan. We've taken the lead early on. And that is Jeremy Menez in top form. He finishes everything. He gets put in front of him. But the credit goes to Luis Adriano. Fantastic effort and run. Great finish. And we're suddenly 1-0 up. Baca. Can spot Luis Adriano. Is it going to get there? Oh, he gets flicked on. Luis Adriano in a one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. He has to score. No, it's a good save. I should have buried that. Is he going to keep that in? Yes, he is. Abate does well to keep that in. He's going to whip one in now. It's a good one. Decent ball in. Well defended by Napoli. And now they can go on a break. Not letting that happen. Well in, Bertolacci. Abate going around the outside again. He can whip one in. Can he find someone? It's nearly an own goal by Napoli. Romagnoli's on the front post. Let's try and find his head. Romagnoli gets blocked off by Menez. Menez makes it 2-0 though. Jeremy Menez, just like last year on FIFA, is going to be the star man of this side. I I don't know why I, I enjoy playing with him so much and why it works. But Menez, for me, is hands down the best player right now. Three goals for him now. He's catching up to Balotelli and Higuain sooner rather than later. That's oh, great football. That's great for oh my days! What a goal! It's not Diego Lopez. You are unbelievable. That deserved the goal. I'm going to be honest with you. That football was incredible, but just as incredible was the save from Diego Lopez. Oh, it's in the back of the net. I can't believe that one. Unlucky Diego Lopez. Good goal to be fair. Since we went two 0 up. They've piled on the pressure. Immense. I just couldn't hold on to this. I wanted to counter attack and make it 3-0. Didn't happen. Great finish. Higuain gets too much pace there from uh, Zapata and Abate. He's going to whip one in. and it's That should have been 2 all. I can't believe the chances they're missing. Nigel de Jong, you need to come on. You need to do a job for me in the heart of the midfield. And win the ball back as, as much as you can. I'm sorry, Montolivo. It's nothing personal. You had a good game. But we need to look for defensive-minded players now and hold out for this result. Nigel de Jong, you can do it. Great kick by Lopez into Abate. Abate loses it instantly. And now we're in trouble again with Higuain on the outside into Insigne. I need to bring him down there. It's not a penalty. Hopefully not a red card for Romagnoli. Otherwise, we're in big trouble. He's actually sent him off as well. I can't believe that one. It wasn't last man. I know it's a harsh challenge and it probably deserved the yellow. But a red... Seriously? Yeah, fuck off, Insigne. Let's take another look at this one. I'm going in. I do get the ball. I go through him a little bit. Once again, a foul and a yellow card is all that, that needed to be, in my opinion. But he's actually sent him off. And now they've got a free kick in a dangerous position. If they score from this, I, I, I'll be gutted. Silio cutting back, switching the play, trying to find an option. Luis Adriano flicks it on. Oh, no, Luis... Luis Adriano, what have you done to me? What have you done to me? What have you done to me? Insigne against Diego Lopez. Diego Lopez. He wins it. He saved it. Wow. I can't. Oh, Diego Lopez, you're a hero. Right, guys. We've got less than half an hour to go. I'm going to make a double substitution. We can't play with three at the back. Luis Adriano is being sacrificed. He's coming off as well as Jeremy Menez. Honda is replacing Menez. Alex is coming on for Luis Adriano. And he's been put in centre back, of course. Honda, well played. Here we go. Cameron attack is on. Nigel de Jong is bumped forward. Nigel de Jong against Zuniga. Nigel, hold on to this. He's won it back. Nigel de Jong. Ah, oh, that could have been the game. He's not going to whip one in. He's going to turn back instead. Well done by Bonaventura. Cut inside. He's given free space by the Napoli defence. And there it is. It's 3-1. After immense pressure from Napoli, we hit them on the break. And we make it 3-1. This has to be game over. Oh, what a mistake. Baka intercepts. Honda's on it. Kaisuke Honda denied. Can we find Zapata right there? No, he's going to go to someone else instead. They get rid of it. That should be the end of the game now, ref. Surely, there we go. What a game that was. Honestly, guys, I ha I'll probably have to cut out a lot of highlights. The pressure from Napoli, the chances they had were uh, immense. Unbelievable. Somehow we held on. We potentially could have scored one more goal as well, but... You know, it was a great game to play, and I'm glad we got away with the three points as well on Legendary. I've, 
you know, I definitely have to stay on Legendary now after that result. Right guys, once again, time to simulate the training. I've changed Jose Mauri, I put him out of the training schedule and put Balotelli in as he's now fit. I want to keep training Balotelli a little bit, not too much, so he's still affordable next year when I want to get him back. But overall, pretty decent results, two A's, a B and a C, unfortunately an F for Berto Lachi Niang went up by a few, which is good, very close to 76 rated now. Right, here we go, three reports coming in, it's going to be uh, exciting hopefully. Alright guys, we've arrived at the game Torino, but that's for the next episode, of course. We're currently first in the league, leading 4 points on Juve and 5 points on Inter, which is pretty decent. We had a good run of games today, but let's take a look at the youth players. I signed up from the three scouts. Uh, we've got a few Brazilians in there. I mean, Brazil is absolutely packed with hidden gems. Agostinho Madeira looks like a decent player. Physically, he's alright. Technically, he's awful. Uh, moving on, we've got one Italian in here, Andrea Gobi, who once again... Probably not the best, but this one, Carlos Pinto from Colombia, looks pretty awesome. Decent pace, good on the ball. He might be someone for the future. Daniel Lugano is a goalkeeper from Colombia, not looking too great. Fabian Torres from Colombia is a physically strong player, but not good on the ball. Joachim Magalan is a Brazilian who is supposed to be a forward, but I, I don't know. He doesn't look great to me. Jorge Morillo, or Jorge Morillo, whoever you pronounce that, looks all right. Uh, we've got Roberto Barria and Rodao Cunha, who has some brilliant physical stats, but unfortunately the technicals aren't looking too great. Let me know what you think I should do with these players. Only Carlos Pinto seems close to getting into the first team. But anyways, I'm going to wrap up the episode here. I hope you enjoyed. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all later.